Hey, and welcome to test 81 from Good Way Evidence, bypassing form fields. It's a test that was run by Pierre Oliver Martel from Polap. Polap is a simple tool for Facebook, which allows people to create polls on Facebook. All right. And we tested, we ran a test with Pierre on the homepage and we were trying to drive signups, more signups and on the control, we noticed, okay, so people, there's a landing page that explains what it is. You pick a title when, when you when you press a button here, uh, a title for your poll. And then what happened on the control or uh, yeah, the, the application here, uh, there's four steps. Configure, where you're asked to enter again, poll title, language, some sort of defaults, introduction. This, this is kind of text for what the audience will see when they're actually doing the poll and so that's the step one configure step two edit questions step three preview and publish all right and we kind of considered these some of these form fields that they could be defaulted that maybe they're not really this is not the right time to to express them and maybe they're not that important and in the variation here Instead of pointing people at step one, the configure step, we bypass that step directly and we push people right into edit question mode. Okay. So people imagine people enter the title and then they can right away start adding questions. Okay. They go to step two. They can still go back a step if they want to edit something, but they're, they don't really see, uh, automatically like all the, um, yeah, the kind of text that they have to write for the poll itself. All right, they, they go straight into question adding mode. Okay, so kind of remove these form fields by bypassing them. Uh, and that's why we tag this uh, test under fewer form fields. I guess it's a way of removing form fields and removing some friction. And what we measured were step, uh, pe people pass, people going forward beyond, like uh, people actually adding a question and going into step three. Okay, so in both cases, they would have to get to step three, like add a question and get to step three. And we found a very, very, very solid 12% gain. Okay, with quite a bit of visitors and quite a bit of conversions here. So this is highly, highly significant. And yeah, so that, that's, a, that's a clear winner. And I think it works. It has, it, it performed so well. Was again, uh, I think this some of this these form fields here uh, maybe weren't the most exciting. I think they're you know people might want to like add a question right away as opposed to customizing something something less important such as language or what people uh, might see after they complete a poll and such. Okay, which could also be automated and maybe defaulted somehow. All right, so that's uh, that's a twelve percent gain and. This is one test of many, just a reminder that we're tracking under the Good UI Data Stories project where we're comparing and where we're trying to assess, okay, are there like a pattern like fewer form fields, is it is it really working? This is really repeating. And here we have on, on Good UI Data Stories, we have uh, 12 similar fewer form field tests that we're, uh, we're paying attention to the median effect from these 12 tests and others in the future. So there's a clear gain here from um, from quite a bit of tests. And uh, also we have a uh, something called a certainty or a repeatability count um, that uh, that we extract from from these tests. And a 3.75 is, is actually quite a good score telling us that yeah, more likely than not, um, there's, there's at least almost a, a, a net positive, th almost four tests um, that um, that lead to to wins, uh, to positive effects. Okay, from such a change, so like, like fewer form fields. All right, hopefully this was useful uh, and inspires. And uh, yeah, share your comments on uh, YouTube. Cool, thanks.